the man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. So what's happened along that process? You've learned to love the journey, right? You love the journey. Man, when you love the journey, the goals just happen. The, the, you hit milestones as a side effect. I love the journey. What does the journey consist of? Failing, getting better, learning, start a new journey, start it over, do it again. When you fall in love with the journey, everything else takes care of itself. Falling in love with the goal and the destination, you will be disappointed if you do that. If you fall in love with, and by the way, life is a journey. So really it's the only long, it's the only long-term approach is to fall in love with the journey. Because if, if you fall in love with the destination, you hit that destination, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. It's gonna be very sad. You're gonna finish your race, maybe even get first place, get your trophy. And then you're like, okay, what do I do now? But if you love the journey, who cares? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this journey this, whole, this entire time. So it's, if this is something you wanna do for the rest of your life, that's the only way to do it. The, the ideal situation is for those destinations that happen as a side effect of the fact that you love the process. Life is not really about the destination. It's about how we live all along the way. And it's easy to become so goal oriented and so focused on our dreams that we overlook the simple things that we should be enjoying. But we have to realize life is a journey. There's no such thing as the finish line. Once you accomplish this dream, God will give you another dream. When you overcome this challenge, there'll be another challenge. There's always another mountain to climb. And if we make the mistake of just living for the destination, we'll look up one day and realize we've missed out on the biggest part of life. Because most of life is routine. Most of us get up every morning, go to work, come home, eat dinner, go to bed, and do it again. There are very few mountaintops where you graduate from school or you get married or have a child or go on vacation. The high times are few and far between. But many people are living for the mountaintops. They're so focused on their promotion that they work night and day. They don't really enjoy their family. They're so stressed raising their children, they don't enjoy their children. They're so caught up in getting out of a problem, their life goes by in a blur. We've got to slow down and learn to enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. A lot of us delay our happiness. When I get to this level, when I get my degree, when I get the kids, when I get married, I'm going to be happy. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the whole step, the whole process. Every day that you get up to strive for whatever it is you're after. You can learn to enjoy your journey. Don't be so frustrated about when you're going to reach your destination that you never enjoy the journey. The journeys in life take a lot longer than that little bit of time when you reach a destination. And I've got news for you. When you reach the destination you're headed for now, you'll rest there a short period of time and you'll head off for something else in your life because God has created us to be goal oriented. We're always heading toward something. We're reaching, we're stretching, we're growing. So if we can't enjoy the going toward it, they're only gonna have a few moments of joy in our whole life. How many of you don't enjoy being faced with challenges, things that are hard to do? How many of you find yourselves putting that stuff off trying to avoid it as long as you can. Try to get out from, under, from doing it. You're looking at things the wrong way. Instead of trying to find an easy, comfortable way to do the things that are hard and need to be hard to be done right to begin with, learn to love. Right now, learn to love hard stuff in your life. Don't want things easy. Build up your integrity in a way where you enjoy doing hard things. That you're always, not always looking for the easy way out. In your life, it is the journey, the work that you do towards your goals that will always be more fulfilling than finally reaching them. You will never get the same pop once you reach a goal.
as you do along the way with the challenge. See, we're always focused on the destination, the dream coming to pass, the problem turning around. Life is not about the destination, it's about the journey. That's where you'll grow. That's where you'll see fulfillment, the favor of God. Because after you reach this goal, there'll be another goal. There'll be another challenge. If we're not careful, we'll rush through the day trying to get to the destination. Slow down and enjoy the journey. Yes, there will be bumps in the road, disappointments, things you don't understand. That's where you have to say, I'm not looking back. I'm not getting bitter and letting that sour my life. I'm not going to live worried, wondering how it's going to work out. I'm going to stay in the present. I'm going to enjoy where God has me right now, knowing that he will get me to where I'm supposed to be. God is going to get you to your destiny. He's going to work out all things for your good. And while you're waiting, when you don't see anything happening, things aren't turning around, trust him enough to enjoy your life. See the good in each day. Be grateful for what you have. The song says, it's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. Once we live this day, we can't get it back. Are you living it in tomorrow, focused only on your dreams? Are you living it in yesterday, focused on what didn't work out? When all the while, God has you at this place for a reason. There's a blessing in disguise. There's someone you can connect with. There's a test that you can pass. Don't get 20 years down the road and see it all come together and have to say, wow, I spent so much of my life worried, not enjoying my family, mad at the people that did me wrong. Let it go. It's all a part of the process. These are tests we have to pass. We can get to our destination, enjoying the journey, seeing God's favor despite the opposition, or we can get there worried, sour, upset, I'm asking you to live in the present one day at a time. Yes, it's good to have goals. Keep your vision in front of you, but don't let what hasn't happened frustrate you. Make up your mind you're going to enjoy each day. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the people you work with. Enjoy the beauty of creation. Take time to smell the roses. All through the day, it's good to take a few deep breaths and just breathe in God's goodness. Breathe in where you are. Not trying to rush through this part of the day and get to the next, but take time to enjoy the present. The best news you'll ever receive is this, that God has a plan for your life. And I want you to, every person, look at me right here. Look really good. Just pay really close attention. I don't care how you feel today, but God has a plan for you. But while God has a plan, God also has a process. And that process is needed because if he brings us straight into our purpose, straight into our promise, straight into our destiny, we may may not be able to handle it emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually. And you know, young people, you've you've heard God's promise and his plan. uh, Mom, you, you, you heard God's promise. Uh, grandmother, you heard God's promise. You're saying, when is it going to come to pass? Listen, before the promise happens, there is a process that we've got to submit our lives to. And that process isn't to harm us. That process is to develop us so that we can handle what's coming. Here's what I've noticed is that there's something I don't know how to do. I said, hey, I don't know how to do this. He said, don't worry about it. You don't know how to do it. Then you do it. Then you know how to do it. That's kind of how it works, little by little, until you look back and you see that you're doing things bigger than what you ever could have imagined. And had God just placed you in it, there would have been too much for you to handle. Listen, don't be weary. Don't grow tired. You know, keep your eye on the destination, but keep your heart in the work. The destination matters, but the process of God is what is beautiful. In fact, so many of the things we think we want, when we look back on it, it's not so much what we got, it's not just the mountain we took, but it's the people that we took to the mountain. It's not just the destination that we got to, but it was the relationships and the joy that we had along the way. I I wanna be an achiever, I wanna be a getting things done kind of guy, but I also want to enjoy the people that God has placed 
in my journey because I'm a part of their life to process them and they're a part of my life to process me. And not only will I get closer to the Lord in that journey, but I'll get closer to them. And that's a beautiful, wonderful thing about the family of God. We can spend our whole life trying to reach a goal only to find out it's not what it's all cracked up to be. Friends, the real joy in life is in the simple things. It's in being with your family, getting up early and seeing the sunrise, taking a walk through the park, taking your daughter on a date, going on a bike ride with your spouse. And sure, the goals, the accomplishments, they bring us a sense of satisfaction, but they're only temporary. You can't live off your Super Bowls. You can't live off your big events because after you savor them for a moment, God's going to birth a new dream in your heart, something new to look forward to. See, it's easy to be too busy. It's easy to become disengaged. But if you want to get the most out of life, you've got to draw the line in the sand and say, I'm going to slow down and enjoy the journey. I'm not going to take for granted what God has given me. I'm not going to be a workaholic and not see my children grow up. I'm not going to live so stressed out that I can't appreciate the simple things in life. Slow down and enjoy the simple things in life. Take more walks through the park. Look at the stars at night. Think about God's goodness. There will always be another dream, another goal, another challenge. Take time for what matters most. And some of you are so focused and driven, so busy with what you have to do each day, you're missing the miracles all along the way. I've found it's the simple things that mean the most to us. You don't have to take an expensive vacation to make a memory. You can make a memory sitting at the dinner table. You can make a memory watching your children play in the backyard, getting up early with your spouse and taking in a beautiful sunrise. And if you'll make this decision that you're going to slow down and enjoy the journey, then you will experience the fullness of what God has in store. When you come to the end of your life, you'll have no regrets. You'll be able to say, I made the most of my life. I enjoyed my family. I enjoyed my friends. I finished my course with joy.